Hello everyone and welcome back to Real Moments in Life. Today I'm in Singapore, a stunning and spotless city. Be right here with me today as we enjoy some amazing cuisines, browse the Marina Bay Shopping Centre, gaze at lush and well-kept gardens, tour the city, soar into the clouds and even discover a waterfall. Keep watching because I have a lot to say about this amazing city. So come along with me today as we get my first impressions of Singapore. Be right beside me, grab a beer, grab a coffee, grab a tea, and let's deep dive and explore this amazing country of Singapore. Let's go. Hey guys, my name is Jack Tor and welcome to my YouTube channel. We begin our day by visiting a nearby hawker centre to sample masala dosa and a cup of brew coffee. The brew coffee was really nice. It was a mix between made coffee and instant coffee, something that I've never had before. Very strong and very sweet. Then in order to reach our destination, we had to get the downtown line. To get there, we had to take a little bit of a walk through the city. The first station we got on was Bendemar MRT Station. By the way, the MRT and public transport in Singapore is so easy. You just tap your debit and credit card and off you go. Once we got on the MRT, it was just a few stops to Bayfront MRT Station where we disembarked and then walked across to the lovely garden. So my first impressions of this city so far is, oh my gosh, is it clean, is it well set out, is it well thought out, the people here are so lovely, like just look at this, beautiful flowers, there's not many people around either which is lovely, and it's just so clean and I love that. When people respect their country and city like the Singaporeans do, they keep it clean. And that's something that when I was in India, I, I experienced quite negatively when I was in Old Delhi. It was very, very dirty. And I just thought, if people like where they are, then why make it dirty? But Singapore, amazing job. And um, this is only the beginning. So I'm just saying my first initial impressions and I reckon it's only gonna get better. So let's go. Just walking through Gardens by the Bay now, we've got a metro station here. Well, it's not entirely the metro station, but it's the way there. So Singapore is so connected. They've got metro stations, electric buses, which is something I'm super passionate about. Electric vehicles and green energy is something that I'm really passionate about. And I wanted to try and share more on this channel when I can, but um, yeah, thumbs up. They look like coconuts, don't they? If anyone knows what these coconut looking things are, they look like big seeds. Let me know in the comments because, um, yeah, it's really heavy too. It's like a coconut, but oh, there's stuff coming out of it. <coughs> it smells. Maybe don't pick it up. I, it's definitely not a coconut, but <laughs> let me know in the comments. By the way, if you're from Singapore, please subscribe. I love the Singaporean people so much and could use more of you guys on my channel, supporting my dream. So if you've liked the video so far, hit that subscribe button. So we're now in Cloud Forest. And as you can see behind me, we have this amazing man-made waterfall. As soon as we walk in, the temperature dropped about six or seven degrees. So it's a really nice temperature. This place is truly amazing. They have all different types of vegetation, plants and trees. There's workers around here pulling off the dead leaves to make sure everything is crystal clear perfect. That's what I love about Singapore. It's just everything is just so perfect. 
and um, it doesn't take much. Once you build infrastructure and a system in place to make sure that things are good, then they just turn out to be great. I'd love to know how long it took them to source all these plants and build this massive dome that we're in right now. Um, because it's obviously a controlled environment with the temperature, with the water, with the sunlight that comes in to keep all these different types of plants alive. So the dome's starting to fill up with cloud as you can see behind me. It's creating this nice misty magical effect. So yeah, if you're coming here, make sure you come here at 12. That's when the mist starts to spray out and um, yeah, it's a really cool experience. So there's a lot of um, exhibits and environmental information here about sort of looking after our world and what we can do to improve our world and make it greener. And I guess that's why this whole thing was built to educate people about being green and, and, and recycling and using electric cars, so things like that. So really, really good job for this place to be doing that because it's what people need, education, to grow forward and make this world a better place. So good job, guys. So right now we're going to go into Marina Bay Sands uh, shopping mall to find some lunch. So I am absolutely starving. So who would ever think that there was a boat and canal within a shopping mall? I sure didn't. Singapore's largest upscale shopping centres, the shops at the Marina Bay Sands, has more than eight 100,000 square feet of high-end stores including Louis Vuitton, Miu Miu and Channel. This is the biggest pot plant I've seen in my life. Got a whole full-on tree growing here in this mall. <laughs> what? <laughs> Honestly. Singapore, you guys are doing it on a whole different level. So cool. So we've just came here into the Marine Bay Sands food court and boy oh boy is there some options here. You can get noodles, you can get soups, you can get different rice and meats. There's also western options as well. You can get duck, chicken, pork, vegetarian, whatever you want, you can get it right here. So I went with one of these bowls where you get rice, corn and an egg and um, beef as well and essentially it comes out on a really hot plate and you can cook it yourself. Essentially here's a cooked piece of beef, just going to mix it up with my rice and corn, get a little bit of egg. I've heard that this is really famous here in Singapore too. Alright, it's probably really hot. Oh wow. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Super delicious. The beef is so tender and flavoursome. It's a uh, pepper um, pepper beef as well. Really nice. Sweet corn's beautiful, nice runny egg. Couldn't ask for anything more, so I'm gonna dig into this one and enjoy. If you have any ideas of what I should do in future videos, then please leave a comment down below. I'm here in Singapore for about 10 days, so I wanna make as much content as I can for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, and as always, keep it real. Cheers.